from that middle. Like, oh, Providence is becoming such a fucking loser city, man. Mm. I used to love the drug addicted part of it. Mm -hmm. Now it's just terrible. Have you went to this flea market? <clears throat> it's awful. It's really bad. Oh, it's bad. It's crazy. My name's Jess, and I paint seashells. Yeah. <laughs> and there's people like this. Well, what kind of seashells do you paint? It's so bad. It's so bad. Have you seen? Have you seen the murals that have gone up? There's um, it is it is kind of getting uh the safe the Spanish Port guy Portland to fight. Yeah, the Spanish guy. Have you seen that? No. You know, you know the do you know the water fire building where they store shit? So it's this huge building. Have you seen it? I don't know the building. It's this beautiful, modern, huge building that's like ten million plus. Like it's just the the mo if I if I had unlimited money, it's what I'd build. And it's what they made to uh or it's what they repurposed to store their shit for water fire, like stuff you could put in a shed. Like the the uh, fire things, stuff you could put in two trailers and bring it down on a tractor trailer truck for yes. cost efficiency. Yes, they put it in this massive double digit millions building, like dream my dream building. Like yeah, like the aircraft garage. hangar, like yeah. cement floor, white walls, massive windows, all that shit. Look up Mary Beth Providence Photography. Some stupid bitch who's taking uh, photographs. The point of the Mary Beth Meehan. The point of the photos is to some white bitch. Some fucking white bitch. Okay, that's the one. That's the one. Uh, the one sort of release for me uh, in this modern age. Of, I hope she painted a person of color. In this modern age of Did she? The, in this modern age of racism, and um, that's the that's the fucking one right there. So that is now on the water. This is not the water fire building, but that image Got is you. draped from the water fire building, and I I drive past it every day. Joey, can you open that up and we'll we'll um, zoom into it? They should put Maya Angelou on it. So this, this, uh, and the one good thing about the woke cancel culture thing is that I can now go to this woman's uh, face and call her a white bitch, which I will do. I'm going to track her down. I'm going to find her. I'm going to call her. I'm going to call her a white bitch that I drive past that every fucking day. So the point of this is to show, um, the point show of this what? Th is to, sh is to show like working regular people, working people, people who would not typically be, <clears throat> um, glamorized on a massive, uh, uh, billboard or whatever. Let's look, let's look at some of our, of our other shit. Seen Unseen is the name of the project. So these, these are the people who are unseen. They need a voice. We definitely need public art of... Where's um, the white bitch who did it? Ugly, ugly ass people. And this isn't even, this Here's isn't even, this isn't even my racism talking. It's just, why do we need, why do we need a fucking hundred foot tall picture of some unattractive person who's done nothing? It's not like this is some hero who who has well, done I'm attracted to all people call. look so, at this so say I am say I am now let me ask you a question let's look at this fucked shit let, let's get to it let's get to the cost let's get to the cost let's be fun about it how much is that print uh 10,000 10, plus you want to bet you want to bet let's bet let the hardest argument against this conversation, right? Like the girl who's like this, you guys are fucking unreal with this shit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, no problem. You're mad. Mm -hmm. How much did that print cost? That print. One, of, the, one of these, a print like that, that's like a photographic massive print is- 8,000. Th thousands. 8,000, yes. I'll guess. Mm -hmm. You put it up with a crane, mm -hmm. 2,500 a day for a crane. Mm -hmm. My bet, 8,000 plus 2,500? There's 20 of these. You spent three point three million dollars for this. Seven hundred thousand dollars to get three of them. Look up. at this fucking. My look at this fucking thing, man. Right, because my my Asian friends would be like this. Put a picture of my grandfather with sandals on. Mm -hmm. That won't make me feel better about live with the racism. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel better now. This will end Asian hate. That will that will stop cops from ripping black kids out of cars. <laughs> That'll stop it. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, guys, yeah. I know the thing's going to pump the brakes on the gut, the fucking cops pulling the fucking black kids smoking weed out of the cars. It's the Asian guy with the flip-flops. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, man. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. You, with the palm oils and the beer. Give guys, some Aerosmith. Take my scumbag aunt who fucked my uncle Rick over. Slap her on the side of a building. Like that might my, my auntie trash Sue. I'll bet mm -hmm. thousands. I'll bet, I swear to God, I would bet everything that I've ever worked for that this woman is a piece of shit. I'll bet everything. Mm. If you can find her and hear her story, if you aired her out and then you asked an audience of 100 people if you thought she was a piece of shit, mm -hmm. if it was under 50%, I'll give away everything to charity. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I will literally sell my house and give everything away if that woman didn't fuck over a nice guy. I hate this. Uh, I hate this so much. Oh, it's just a fucking waste. It's so corny. Why don't people see it as corny? And it's it's not even like my um, like the white lady with the the baby being suckled is triggering me as well. It's not even a racism thing. It's like the money. This money could be used homelessness in such a better way. There's there's a uh, black kids and Puerto Rican kids that walk around outside here when I'm doing the boxing stuff, and I get asked at least once every time if I do lessons. Mm -hmm. Why don't they have? Why don't they fucking yeah. give boxing lessons or something like some yeah. sort of after school activity? Anything you could do anything with this money. You could put this put this money in the the t shirt money guns and shoot it out. Give, give do anything with the fucking money. Give a jujitsu studio twenty five thousand dollars for any kid who shows up wants lessons gets it. Period. Give the studios. Do anything with this money. Give a boxing studio Let's, 50 grand grants. Instead, we're like this. No, we're going to put a picture of an Asian guy with flip-flops on. <laughs> no, we're going to... No, no, no. We're going to go with the girl breastfeeding. <laughs> yeah. Because that means mama. <laughs> Can we go to the artist statement? What's that one? What, what, this guy's a slob. Indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, man, I got indigestion. Is this what, is this what uh, people walking around in, in Providence should aspire to? Is this what we want to aspire to? It's 10,000. Being a slob? 10,000 for me for the indigestion. Good God, man. I don't fucking get it. First launched in 2015, so we've been at this for uh, six years How's now. How's it going, guys? I mean, because it's the crime rate's through the fucking roof in Providence. Mayor Jorge Elorza. He's getting inaugurated matches. Inaugurated Bidur, a portrait of the first woman to come to Rhode Island as a refugee of the war in Syria. I'm I'm touched. I'm touched. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to go I'm, I'm you know what? Let me share a story to take the tone down a little bit. Let's close these tabs so Nick can tell a story here with Let me take a story. This is tonight. This is literally mm -hmm. tonight before I got here, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, you guys know I speak Spanish. You guys mm -hmm. know everybody knows Nick speaks Spanish. You got love in the streets. Unlike I me, got, they they are jealous of me. Right, they think Sammy's a full on not uh, Spanish speaker. Right. <laughs> he knows speak Spanish. And I'm like, no, he don't speak Spanish. Pero yo pero es es más fácil para mí. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cuando yo quiera hablar contigo, es fácil para mí, nena. <laughs> yeah, primo. <laughs> so tonight, for I really, I, and I, I do, I did want to point this out because it was kind of interesting to see. Four Guatemalan guys, father and son, double father and son, father, father, son, son, mm. on the side of me at the bar. Getting rat service at the bar. Mm. No one's coming up to him. Now, mind you, they were like, hey, can I get a little beer? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, eh, you're in like a fast casual restaurant. That shit's not going to play. So the waitresses are going to get turned off. And you're Spanish, so the racism is going to come out. Mm -hmm. So all your boys that came in and did that the year before, they've like grown leather skin to like Spanish guys being like, hey, what's the bar? Can I want to get a little beer? Mm -hmm. Like that's, you know, they're going to fall. But they the, did. Wait, the waitresses have not seen any of the photos. No, mm. she hasn't seen any of these photos. No, no, no. They weren't, I mean, I get it. I mean, culturally, fucking Spanish people are fucking like lit the fuck up when they go out in public. And then I said to him, I was like this, listen, man. <laughs> I said in Spanish, I was like, when you got a people that have stupid, <laughs> fast, casual corporate restaurants like this, these people fucking love to bust your balls. Like mm. They live for that. They live to say no. Mm -hmm. Education, fast, casual restaurants, retail. These are designed for you to get fucking rowdy and then like them to call you out. Mm -hmm. And you're going to fail every time because culturally, why are you not talking to me? I get it. I get it in Mercedes all the time. Mm. That's why I, I act like the way I act. I'm just like this, dude, you come in here asking for G-Wagon. <laughs> you have a fucking tank top on. <laughs> okay. You're in a Tommy Hilfiger tank top and like ripped jeans. You look like a gay guy. <laughs> okay. And you're telling me you want a $180,000 car. You drove here in a fucking... A Chevy fucking uh, Nissan Altima. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me you want, like, it never happened like that. No one ever drove in to a car dealership <laughs> in a Nissan Altima and bought a G Wagon. <laughs> Not once. Well, you got to know how crazy you are, but you got to know how crazy the world is. I don't know. I had a fucking epiphany tonight. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, man. And I don't want to be like one of these fucking, one of these sympathizing bitches. Everybody's, but, de everybody's dealing with, um, but everybody's getting it. You know what I mean? Like, issues. that's, that's, that's their deal. But as far as getting treated like shit, you know, it's just really funny to watch people like actually funny. Like, oh man, that's fucking ruthless. Crazy. I throw a fucking beer bottle right through the fucking back bar if someone did that. I'd be like, oh yeah, wham! Like fucking right through the thing. I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck yourself with the chicken wings. Literally, make yourself come with my chicken wings. 